So this is how to install any 8.0 update or any update um, in FCN. So starting off, we're going to need three different things. Uh, the first thing we're going to need uh, is WinRAR. This is what I'll be using to manage the files. If you have something else, great. But uh, so if you don't, then install WinRAR, and that'll be the one I'm using. So the second step. We're going to need the current version of FCN. So as of right now, I believe it is the FCN version 8.0 hotfix. So we'll click that. And then the final thing we're going to need is something called developer mode turned on. So in here, developer mode turned on. Alrighty. So the first thing you're going to need to do after all that is to install the files so you double click on that and then you click download so i already have it downloaded from here it'll open up these right so just hide this away for now we don't need to use that uh, the next step we're going to go to file explorer so in file explorer the way to get to your data folder is you're going to need to follow these steps. So go to your OS, go to Program Files 86. Now, if you don't have developer tur mode turned on, this file might not appear. So it is very important that you have that on. But double click on Program Files 86. From there, double click on Steam. From there, double click on Steam Apps. From there, double click on Common. From there, double click on Napoleon Total War. And finally, double click on data. So it's going to look different for you, but since I have it installed on a drive folder, uh, I have to go here. But so this is the same data folder as if you were to go on the OS. So from here, you go to your installed files. So this one right here. And you're going to hold shift, click this, and then hold control, click the media pack. You don't need to put this in there or these two. So it's easy as dragging and dropping. So I'll show you here in a second. You just drag the files into there. And it will extract. And then once you extract, it will ask you if you have already have it installed like a previous version, it's going to say that you have uh, files with the same name. Just replace them. I'm not going to do that because it takes forever because of how it's installed on Drive, but yeah. All right, so from there, you can close that, keep this open. Next thing we're going to have to do is type this exactly in your bar, hotbar. So percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. If you try to do before it's completely typed, it'll give you like searching up app data. So you got to make sure you have this whole thing typed out. It'll give you a folder. In this folder, you go to the creative assembly, the creative assembly folder. So double click on that. Then go to the Napoleon folder. And then finally, go to the scripts folder. All right, from here, we can import the two final preference scripts and user scripts. So you just drag and drop that. And then if you've already had it, then replace the files. And then uh, once that is done, you should be done with the files themselves. But there's one more step that we have to do. So we're going to go to the next file found in the drive. It's called the 4 gigabyte patch. So we're going to click on that. Download. M make sure you click download anyway. I forgot to mention that. We're not trying to steal anything, so you don't have to worry about it. You double click on the 4 gigabyte patch found in the downloads. Then you're going to click yes. Yes. And then it's going to give you this popped up window that says select executable. So from here, we're going to do the same thing, locate our Napoleon Total War file. 
So program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, no, oh, common, Napoleon Total War. Now, um, you're not going to go into data. And again, it's on my drive, so I'm going to have to go to my drive. You're not going to go to data. Instead, you're going to click the Napoleon executable. It'll be the one that just says Napoleon and has this little icon. You double click on that. It will say executable successfully patched. You have now downloaded the four gigabyte patch, and you now should be able to join other people's lobbies. That, um, But yeah, so that is it.